So KindMaster has this audio editing feature that no other video editing app on Android does. But it is a bit hard to understand all those audio features. But once you understand those, your video editing will go a step further. So that's why I am here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit audios of video clips in KindMaster, explain all the settings, and how you can use it effectively. And that's coming up. So here we are in the KindMaster application. So as always, I'm going to click the plus icon and now select one of the projects here. Both projects will lead you to the editing page. So this is the editing page. So you want to click the media browser and I'm going to drop a video file here. I'm going to drop my previous video. So in order to edit the audio, you need to drop an audio file. So you, you click the audio button right over there. Here you can add from your phone storage any music or any voice clip that you recorded from another app. Or you can add voice directly from this app by clicking the voice icon and click start. And it will look like this. Or if you have any voice clip in your video clip already, so you want to click the scissor icon and click extract audio. And so I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how you can edit this audio clip, all the things you can do with it. The first thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with is the settings. There are three sections, audio, video and editing. So I'm going to go with audio as the video is based on audio editing. So if you enable the auto master volume, the app will boost your voice quality. And the audio fade in option, if you enable that, the audio will come by fading in. You can also control the duration of it. The same with the audio fade out, the audio will go out by fading out. You can also see the duration here. So if you click the audio clip, you get different options here. So you can see the three dots, you can duplicate the file here as you can see the audio clip that has been duplicated you can also trim the audio here as you can see the yellow bars here you can dragging it to the right or you can trim it from the end of the layer by dragging it to the left if you tap on the audio clip you get bunch of options at the right I'm gonna explain all that go first I'm gonna go with the trim split and these three options make the trimming things more easier as you can see the first one is trim to left of playhead if the left side of the audio clip from the playhead will be deleted as you can see I click it, the left side is deleted, same goes with the second one, the right side will be deleted, and the next one is split, there will be a split, a cut, as you can see the audio clip has been separated into two clips, this is the most useful feature here when it comes to editing audios in KindMaster, you can put multiple cuts in here, this can be very useful if you want to delete your specific part of your audio clip. So as you can see from here to here I want to delete this part. So if you want to delete it just put a split in there. And you select the clip you can delete it right from here. And you can drag it just like that. So if you also have any, any messed up audio you can, you can rearrange it by this. So the next one is the sound icon. If you click it, you will get a bunch of options. You can see the volume here. You can increase it to 200%. This will make your sound quality two times better. If you click the compressor, it will make three times better. And if you click the sound icon, it will mute the audio. You can also control the left and right side of the audio. And you can also control the pitch of the voice. The next one is audio filter. You can make your voice to chipmunk, robot, deep or modulation, whatever you like. The next one is audio envelope. You can adjust your volume here by using it. So if you want a specific part of your audio to be lower down, you can use this feature. As you can see, from this part to this part, the audio will gradually lower down. And if you click the minus icon, the things will go back to normal. Just use it frequently and you will understand how this works. The next one is background. If you enable that, the audio will be played as background. The next one is loop. If I'm going to explain this by adding a background music. So I'm going to add this music right over there. I'm going to make it background and I'm going to decrease the volume. As you can see, the, ba the background music is shorter than my actual video clip. If I want this to be played the whole video, you can use the loop here and now you can increase it as you can see or you can click it extend to end project it will it will play to the whole end project and the last one is information you can get all, all the information of this voice clip here and the last one you wanna understand is the pin option here guys so I'm gonna explain this 
as you can see guys there are two different video clips with two different audio clips as I used the split option so I'm gonna hit the media icon I'm gonna add an Im image here as you can see as you can see this audio layer has been moved with the actual clip so if you wanna make it stick to this point at this specific timeline as you can see 7.2 Actually, you can use this feature called pin after you use that no matter how images and video clips will add it will stick to the same timeline as you can see so yeah that's all the features you can do with this audio thing so if you wanna export it click the share button and click save video to gallery and export in your favorite resolutions